Hey everybody, Josh here with another big update. If you're interested in Canadian immigration, AI and other technology, you're gonna wanna watch this. My name is Josh, CEO here at Visto.ai and Canadian immigration lawyer. We build AI tech automation for Canadian immigration professionals. Now, some of you might already know that we have built a co-pilot, which is the first that I know of, Canadian immigration co-pilot and chatbot. The reason for this, and we launched this earlier this year, we've already had dozens and dozens and dozens of firms using it for research, writing, all that kind of stuff, is if you're using a regular kind of off the shelf chatbot, it might be not trained on the most up-to-date information. It might be pulling answers from blog posts or random Reddit threads or stuff like that, which is why we originally built the chatbot that we have here in this platform only on updated Canadian government information and so this custom database and algorithm will not learn from your messages or private information or anything like that. Now, what we've added recently is PNPs, right? So data specifically from the different provincial government websites to help you help your clients do research, make suggestions for them and all that kind of stuff that only is sourced from the provincial government websites. So what do I mean by this? Let's say you have a consultation or a prospective client who is asking for help. It's harder than ever to get permanent residence. Express entry scores are through the roof. They get on a call and they're like, hey, this is my situation. Express entry isn't an option. What are my PNP options? Well, it's tough to stay up to date on all of the different PNP streams, especially with all the changes in the different provinces. So maybe, just maybe, you pull up the Visto Copilot on your screen and you type in something like, what are the good Ontario PNPs for a 31 year old um, IT worker who has a year of work experience in Ottawa and a master's degree and you type this in and you hit enter and you wait now what's happening is the co-pilot is researching and pulling data only from the provincial government and Canadian government websites to start making suggestions for you. So you can see within a few seconds, it starts typing away. And not only is it gonna start answering your questions, it's also gonna provide sources to the government website that it's pulling it from. So in this example, for a 31 year old IT worker, it's starting to highlight different options, right? Like the human capital priority stream, the OINP tech draws might be worth looking into that too. The job offer stream, if they have a job offer in Ontario, right? Because they've already been working there. So what you can do is you can review all of this and you can see we even source it at the bottom. So I can start clicking in to the actual sources that the co-pilot is relying on to start digging in, you know, getting more information, always double checking, right? Our AI is quite good, but we still always want you to double check and make sure that you have the proper sources. Now, maybe you're like, okay, well, this is interesting. Um, I kind of want to send this back to my client in an email. Can you please summarize this into three shorter paragraphs from my perspective to my client, advising them on these findings? Just as an example, right? You can obviously provide more information or you know make it a little bit more specific. Usually, the better your prompt is, the better the output is, right? But I just wanted to make this as a really quick example. So you can see here within seconds, it starts typing and it's writing an email from the perspective of you, your law firm, and making these different suggestions. Based on your profile, you have several promising options through the Ontario blah, 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 sincerely, blah, blah, blah. So now I can copy this. I can head on over to my email and I can start prepping it and obviously getting ready to send it over to my client to hopefully provide them with some information. Now, let's say they decide to move forward with you. Hey, that, that, that first option is really good. Let's go with the um, human capital priority stream, right, as an example. So we can then say something like, please draft a one page, oops, a one page submission letter for the OINP human capital priority stream as if we are applying to that program and I am their legal representative okay 
and I just hit enter. Now the other thing that you could do is you could copy paste your own template and the AI will use that to redraft it as well. But you can see here, even with like very minimal direction, it will start drafting different documents for you. So again, one thing to keep in mind is the better and more specific your prompt is, the better the output would be. So another good example could be like, hey, please use this template that I'm gonna copy and paste below. But you'll see here, it just starts typing. It gives you, you know, where you need to put in your letterhead, the date, the program that you're applying for. And it just has all this information in, in terms of being a really good first draft, right? It even remembers that they have a master's degree and tells you to input information, right? So this is really starting to help our firms save time researching, writing, drafting stuff, emailing back and forth with these basic communications, even situations where you know the answer but it might take you two, three, five, ten minutes to type up an answer and email it to a client or whoever it might be. Just being able to type a one sentence prompt and getting your answer right away, which you should then, of course, always review, update, touch it up a little bit, and then you're ready to go. So hopefully you find this helpful. Uh, certainly some of our firms have been finding it extremely helpful, especially on the research and writing side. If you are interested in learning more, this is just one feature the visto copilot is one small feature of everything that we help firms automate in canada so if you have more questions or you want to learn more make sure to check us out at visto.ai visto.ai thanks again if you have any questions comments anything you want me to test throw them in the comments and i'll see you in the next video take care